I'm going to show you a, a, an experience that takes you beyond just simply driving in your car from A to B. So this is a product called here Auto, and it's designed as an embedded uh, system um, in, the, in the vehicle. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, you know, I'm sitting at home on my sofa, and um, I start here Maps, and this comes on an Android device. So I'm I'm already connected to my to my account on this device, also my other devices on there. Because as you know, in reality, you don't just have one device, you have multiple devices that you may use. And here I'm going to show you a complete um, experience on there. So I search for a place. I'm going to a place called uh, tonight, or oh, well, later on this afternoon, called uh, Living XXL. So there's a restaurant bar in the, in the middle of Frankfurt. So I tap on that, it gives me more information uh, about the place. Uh, as you can see, we, use, we also work with our partners, such as Lonely Planet or TripAdvisor. I hit on to collect done and this is automatically synchronized to the cloud so I can use it for, for later on. So um, we take the approach of sending it to the cloud as opposed to just sending it to a car because if you send it to the cloud it makes it available to all your other devices that you might have. So now I get into the car with, uh, with here also. So um, this, uh, if you look at the, the system here, the first thing you see um, we have a, a number of different um, uh, live and dynamic tiles. So the first one you see is um, my commute. So my commute um, is basically a learning a, uh, a learning engine that takes into consideration traffic and also the, the routes that you take when you're going to um, going to work, for example. So you go to work, and because you, when you go to work, you know you know the way to, to work, but you may have two or three different ways to go to work depending on traffic and so on. So what this does is this will actually learn. It will learn these particular routes that you take, so it be your personal routes. And what it will do is it will take into consideration traffic information and at certain points of your journey to work, it will tell you, okay, you should take option A today instead of option B because option A will save you 10 minutes. So it, it really helps you. It doesn't give you turn by turn guidance because you know how to get there, but really proposing you these individual routes. Uh, the second tile you see is restaurants. So I pre-programmed this myself. This is taking into consideration more of the personalization uh, part of the product. So if I click on restaurant, it always shows me restaurants wherever I am in, in the area. I could change this to whatever I want. I can put coffee, I can put uh, supermarkets, doesn't matter. It's just a search term that's personal to me. Next one's gas station. So this will show me the nearest gas stations around, and this is using the here um, auto cloud. So you can see this nearest gas station, the gas stations nearby, and also including the pricing. I can sort this by the cheapest, closest, or optimize. Optimize is really looking at a number of different factors. Um, because the car is connected into the, uh, or integrated into the system, it could take in the efficiency of your car. You know, does it make sense to drive 10 kilometers to a cheaper gas station instead of you know, going one that's closer, that's maybe a little bit more expensive? So it really um, you know, look, looks at all the different elements there. Now, let's go into the, the favorites. So as you remember, I was sitting on my couch, uh, typed in a particular restaurant. Um, usually this will happen as you start the car. So you start the car, automatically synchronize. But for the purpose of the demo, I'll hit synchronize there. And you notice the restaurant um, that I previously clicked automatically uh, appears. So first thing you see is this rotating um, uh, 360 uh, street level imagery that we have. This basically gives the user or the, cust uh, the, the driver a rough understanding what the area looks like, especially when it's a new place, they've never been there before. I can hit onto P to look for parking nearby. So I can plan ahead that I know that, okay, I should look for parking nearby. Uh, but I actually, I'm gonna show you a much better way in how we've actually integrated it to reduce um, you know, driver distraction as well. So I hit set destination. So here we, it's proposed us three different routes. Um, you, you've got uh, the, the, the shortest, fastest, and also eco route uh, as well. I also can have um, different types of uh, avoidance strategies, so maybe avoiding uh, highways or toll roads and, and so on. Let's start navigation. So this will give me turn by turn um, navigation to my destination. Um, you can see it's prompting me that there's traffic um, you know, sort of along the, along the route as well. Um, I can also pan the map, as you can see. Um, the, the 3D, uh, 3D landmarks. If I zoom in, you can see the extruded buildings. And this is, this is one of the things that we're doing more and more with our, with our maps, is actually making it sort of adapt to different situations. So if I'm driving, uh, driving in the city, I'm driving quite slow, you will see more of the, the, the extruded buildings. So it gives you a sense, a feeling of the, of the place that you, you might be going to. 
However, if you go a little bit faster, it zooms back out, and all those street buildings will disappear, and then it will concentrate on more on the on the, the actual landmarks. You see, we also have lane assistance uh, as well, and in addition, you know, the traffic flows, and also PRIs as well. Um, we can change the different views from 2D to 3D views, also satellite um, views as well. So this system is actually um, a hybrid system, meaning it, it works online and offline. So as you know, traditionally uh, systems the, uh, systems have been always on board. So they, you know, companies are obviously used to having um, map data residing on here. But this gives the benefit of actually also being able to go online to get always the freshest um, content, be it the map data, the POIs, or uh, dynamic services like traffic uh, and also fuel prices and parking availability. One thing I want to show you is the profiles. So here we've got um, two, two profiles set up on here. So as you know with most cars, um, um, usually a key is like your, the, the car key is the profile. You put in your key and your seats adjust. We can hook onto that and actually um, have your own profile for also the settings for, for our system. So let's say for example, um, I like to drive in 3D mode with English voice, voice commands. Uh, with my favorites, and my wife will have um, German with 2D with her, with her ones. So as we approach 300 meters away from the final destination, you'll be presented with what we call the approach mode. So here you see, first of all, uh, a rough idea of what the place looks like. And with one touch, and this is what I mean about the parking, one touch, it shows me the parking nearby. And if I want to go to this one because it's, it's on the way, I can just tap onto that, it automatically will navigate to that final destination uh, without me needing to open another app or do anything else. It's just two clicks and it automatically navigates uh, to the final destination. So now we switch to the to the smart smartphone. So now imagine that I've now parked on my car. So I parked on my car and um, I'm at the parking parking place and I still need to get to my final uh, final destination, the restaurant. I still don't know where it is. So what I do is, I then start here maps. I start here maps, and what happens here, automatically in the background, um, my, it, it goes to the cloud and pulls down um, the things that I, I stored uh, previously. So I go into there, and you can see restaurant bar living in XXL automatically appears on there. I click on get directions, and it will give me walk uh, navigation directly to the restaurant so I can meet up with my friends for, for lunch. Another, another thing, so when I'm at the, at the restaurant, I, I tell them that it's my wife's birthday coming up soon. And they said, oh, why don't you go shopping in the, in the my, my Zal, which is a shopping mall nearby. So if I click onto that, my Zal, actually this place we've actually got um, venue, venue maps. So it has all the different um, shops um, inside there. We have them all, all mapped up. Mapped up. Uh, if I clicked onto bench, because I know she really likes um, bench clothing, and if I hit onto get directions, it will actually guide me by foot to the nearest door of that particular mall. If I go, if I click onto the map, it even shows me that it's on the second floor and it's actually next to uh, uh, another shop called S. Oliver. So this is really you know, helping, you know, guiding, the, guiding the customer all the way to, to the actual shop. Now, after shopping for a few hours, I completely forgot where I parked my car. So what I can do is, as you saw, as you saw on here, when I shut down the, the car, it automatically saved my position in the cloud. So you can see my car here. I tap onto my car and then I can get walk guidance um, onto there. But what we can also do is we can utilize um, LiveSight, which is a product, is our, a product which uses, um, uses the camera as well. So if I turn around, I can see my favorites there, but also my car. So if I tap onto my car, and then I can get directions to it. This is, this is especially useful, especially when you're in a, in a big city and you, know, you don't know exactly where the, you know, which direction to walk in, let's say, as, as one example. Um, you, know, you don't want to walk in that direction for five minutes and find out, oh, hold on, my car's actually over there. So this really helps you orientate uh, yourself. One very last thing I want to show you is um, the companion app. So as the name suggests, it's a, a, the companion application adds as a companion to here, here Auto. So what we've done is we've taken all our mass mapping assets that we have and made a car-centric application. So as you know, the green dot always tells you where my position is. And what we've done is we've also incorporated you know, where my car is. So one tap, this is where my car is. If I want to get back to my car, I've always easy access to my car. 
and also um, using our, our, our weather APIs to actually get the, the weather of the location. If I hit get directions, it automatically guides me, guides me back to the car. I can do things like local search as well. Because, um, so if I want to search for a place, save it to the cloud. So when I get back to my car, it's already in there. Because the car is connected, there are a number of different uh, opportunities here to do telematic type services. So for example, we have uh, uh, fuel efficiency. So uh, if, you know, depending on which, um, you know, depending on which APIs are available from the car manufacturer, these type of APIs can be exposed. And here we're trying to show you a vision of um, the different types of uh, telematic services that could be available for this companion application. So there's fuel economy, it could be things like tire, car tire pressure sensors, other types of um, statuses, and even remote services such as you know, locking and unlocking um, your car. So the companion application really is, you know, as I said, so it, yeah, for OEM, it's very important for them because you know, a consumer can always associate the brand of a car, not only when they're sitting in the car, but also when they're outside of the car. So even if they need to look for something, they will pick up a, a, you know, their, a, their phone and actually run an application that's branded for their, their experience so they can keep closer to their customers.